Wait, what the fuck? Hello? Can I not get any louder? Hello? Hello? Wait, it's like capping my audio. Why is he capping my audio? Oh, wait, what the fuck? I have a voice changer on? Hello? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Also, why does this shit auto do this? Man, this application sucks ass, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. I run my mic through voice mods specifically so I can have voice changers. And then every once in a while it just turns itself on. It just fucking does its own thing. Hi Felix. Hello everybody. My name is Super Diaper Baby, but you could just call me Baby. I hope you're doing well. We're going to be playing some hardcore Minecraft today. We started a world last week doing a 100 day survival challenge on an island. So we're going to continue that today. I think we're on day 12 or something. Say less, Felix. Get your exercise in, bro. Let's go. Dude, this hat makes my forehead look massive when it's only on part of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking mega mind up in here. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're loading in. We're loading in right now. Oh, wait. Why is this shit bugging? God damn, dude. Everything's broken today. Hello? What the fuck? Why is it broken? Oh shit, okay. Sounds good to me, bro. Dude, what? Oh my god, dude. Alright. <clears throat> I guess it works. No, it doesn't even work now. <sighs> what the fuck? Sure, dude. Bro, this is so annoying. How is that? How is that what it's picking up? Bro, it was working before I started stream too. Ah! Wow, that's insane. Okay. Okay, shoddy. I see you. So, we're capturing Minecraft now, but... Oh, wow. This is fucking crazy. If I alt-tab... It'll just freeze. Until I come back. Okay. This is new. See how this goes? <laughs> Fucking day 12 starting off with technical issues. But we got it. We got it all right. All right. So since we played last, what it was a little bit over a week ago, I've done some thinking. I want a staircase that goes all the way up to the top of the island. Just a, like a spiral stone and wood staircase. 
And so we have a bit of wood or a bit of stone. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of wood, but we have trees growing. So we're gonna. I'm gonna go in here, and I'm just gonna like fucking keep getting, keep getting shit. Yo, suspected 101. Thanks for the one bit, brother. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well today. I don't really know how far down. Oh shit! Thanks for the follow, bro. Suspected 101. Welcome to the week, gang, brother. Gang, gang. Again, I hope you're doing well, bro. Happy Thursday. I'm just gonna get a bunch of stone here. That way we can build a uh, build fucking uh, the staircase. We're gonna need a lot. And th the farther we go down, the more fucking stone we get, right? So I think I'm just gonna do like a, a normal staircase right here. Also, I'll do your curls right now. Let me uh, go get them. Appreciate the redeem. Helping me get those gains, you feel? What the fuck, dude? I wasn't even here. 49 bits plus the 50 bits, bro. Sheesh. Thanks, my guy. 100 bits all in all. Well, this is kind of crazy. Weird coincidence. Because, like, fucking... I can't find my 10 pounds. I can't find my 10 pound uh, dumbbells. So I was going to do 15s for you. So, you know, in celebration, I guess you fucking, we're going to go hard. <laughs> I'm a max out, bro. Ugh. Okay, there's your 10. That's your fucking 10, bro. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Holy shit, bro. I'm gonna max out though. We did the 10. That's like in re for the fucking redeem. This is for all the biddies. I'm just gonna go until I can't. Oh, Felix. Fuck, dude. Alright, this is, this is Felix's 10 then. Oh my god, dude. Okay, there's the 20. I, I'm gonna max out now. Oh shit! The, the, the fucking give sub. Let's go! Oh my god, bro. You're way too generous. Fucking Peachy will probably appreciate that. I love you, man. I love you. Here's a fucking applause, mate. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh. Uh. This is how you're making me feel right now. Oh my god! Wow. And then uh, maybe a little bit of. Uh... Woo! Yeah! Dude, 
I fucking thanks, man. I really appreciate it, dude. I thanks, man. That's awesome. Okay, I'm maxing out for you. I'm fucking maxing out for you. This white overexposed little boy is gonna max out for you, King. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's 21 in a row on the left and fucking 24 on the right with the 15s with the 20 before that. Oh, fucking Christ. Holy fucking Christ, bro. Nah, dude, we go, we go fucking hard. We go hard for the support, dude. I just wanted to show you how much I appreciate it. Doesn't happen a whole lot over here, so. Uh, no, we're hammering out the push-ups, dude. Fucking push-up cam time. Let's hope we don't die on Minecraft. Like, literally, though, literally, though. Okay. I really appreciate it, suspected. That shit's crazy, dude. You're a real, you're a real homie, man. I appreciate the follow and all the bits, bro. I've never maxed out with uh, curls either, though, so that's that was kind of a cool experience. We got a lot of room to grow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them away. <laughs> I don't think we should do any more curls. <laughs> Come on. 
Good luck on the trails, bro. Have fun. I miss you, bro. Get that exercise, King. Get that exercise, bro. Yes, sir. Oh, dude, my run's gonna be crazy later. What the fucking? So I have a Garmin. Here, hold on. Let me switch my camera for you. I have a I have a Garmin watch. Uh, because I I like to run. Like I'm really into running, kind of. I ran my first marathon uh last November, last October. Yo, Jsos, what's good? Uh, yeah, I play on Java for streams mostly. I do have Bedrock, but I don't really like the differences between the two. So I I try to stick to Java. <coughs> Holy shit. Let me drink some water. You made the funniest Felix meme in the Discord, bro. Alright, I'll check it out. Oh my god. You play Minecraft Suspected? Which version do you play on? Oh my god, my arms are so tired. Oh, I never put the Discord notification in. Okay, there is that. Your Felix meme. The crime. The criminal. <laughs> oh, dude. That's so cute. We love it. We love it, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah, with my kids, we have both, but we use Bedrock more. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Bedrock is, like, so much easier to play with other people. Because it's so... It's like cross-play. You can have it on literally anything. Like, play it with all your homies. <sighs> And what, you can make worlds in that? Like, you don't have to. And you could just send someone an invite. Like, it doesn't have to be a realm, right? But that's the problem with Java is that if you want to play with your friends, you have to play with someone on someone else's server. Or on, like, a realm or something. So it's a bit more expensive and less convenient. Oh, fuck. Okay. Wait. <laughs> so we're still in day 12. Honestly, dude, if if Java had the functionality of Bedrock and the like compatibility, it would be like the ultimate version. Like I'll play Bedrock with my friends because some of them don't have Java, but I'd much rather them just be on Java. For real, for real. <clears throat> oh man. All right. Well, before the fucking chaos. I was uh, digging down. We're gathering stone mostly so I can build a giant staircase up this island. And then, uh, hopefully, we find some iron down here. Because I'm just mining with stone pickaxes right now. This is my first hardcore world ever. Like, I, I'm playing mad passive. I'm not really sure what to do. Oh my god. Oh, and my arms, they're so sore. Uh, for the running? Yeah, yeah, I'm like super into running. I was in cross country in high school and cross country. I did just graduated from college. I did cross country in college as well. So I, I like really enjoy running. Um, but I've never been like super goal oriented. So I would just run because I enjoyed it. And I, it's like therapy for me. Oh, you tried Chinese food for the first time? What'd you get? Did you get any fortune cookies? Shit's kind of gross. Maybe you got the wrong stuff, man. I don't think you could you could have one thing of Chinese food and then think all of it's gross, bro. That sounds pretty good to me. What is this purple stuff? Oh, what the heck? Yeah, dude, sweet and sour chicken's good. Oh, it's a geo. That's why it's got the, the harder outer shell. Okay, that makes sense. That's so cool. Oh my god, bro. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for another sub. Boomer. Boomer's been robbed, dude. Been robbed by the weak gang. Fucking. I don't know if Boomer will be on stream anytime soon because he's in the Philippines. But hopefully he appreciates that. New recipes. What is this used for, J Sauce? I don't need. A yeah, he's too busy with his girlfriend for for real, bro. That 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 kid's kind of crazy. He's got some weird interests. Interests. J 
Just the spyglass? Okay. So I can literally just press C. And it does what Amethyst does. <laughs> she kind of acts like a cat, doesn't she, bro? She's always getting mad at him for something. I mean, I, that relationship's so fickle. They're so young. What? They're both, like, middle school. They gotta be middle school, right? So, I just, like, I try to be supportive. Yeah, Boomer, congrats. You got a girlfriend. I enjoy it while it lasts. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Another, like, uh, another, like, antelope thing, bro? Or, uh, wait, was a goat last time? Thanks, man. Hell yeah. I stream Monday through Friday around 5. No stream tomorrow, though. I'll be back on Sunday. I have to take my parents to the airport. So, hope to see you, see you around. I super appreciate all the support, man. That was very kind. Just donating to someone you've never met before. I, uh, like, I, it means a lot, bro. I hope you have a, a good rest of your day. What did you get, YT? Did you put it in the, the Discord? He's going into grade 9. Grade 9 in the Philippines, though. It's got to be a little bit. Hell yeah. I'll pay it forward for sure. Appreciate it, man. Alright, bet. I'll look at it. Let me know when it's in there. Hey, we got a little bit of iron. That'll help. That'll help in the future. To make some iron pickaxes. I don't know how far we go down anymore. Because this is a new world, right? Grade 9 in the Philippines is 14 to 15 or 13 to 14, depending on area. Hmm. So, it is like America. Are you sure he's going into grade 9? I always thought Boomer was younger than that. I could be wrong, though. Damn. You sure he just didn't say he was 9? <laughs> I guess. Well, I guess that makes sense since he reads like... He reads like hentai stuff. I don't think I'd I would be reading hentai stuff at nine. I'm back on the Chinese food topic, bro. I've had Chinese food before, but since I've been a vegetarian, I try to avoid it because I most of the stuff is cooked with or like it within a broth that is not vegetarian so it's hard to know what is actually a vegetarian on their menu so i don't usually eat um chinese food okay this back and forth business is only so i can stay within the range of the island without like really worrying about it because i don't know exactly where it is but i know that you know if i just do a like a light back and forth staircase i won't be too far i won't go too far all right let's keep going wait i'm so surprised that we didn't go through an entire day doing all that curls and stuff it's kind of wild all right what do we've got we've got like almost a line of stone Which we can turn into Uh oh wait, we got a lot more than that. We got a lot more than I thought. Is there there's no crafting table in here? So we need to make a crafting table. No, but I don't think Boomer's gonna make it to a stream anytime soon, cause Wait, it was like 7 in the morning when I was streaming at 9. And so it's it's like in the middle of the night for him. He's probably sleeping right now. With my new schedule. Kind of unfortunate. I'd either have to stream really early in the morning or late at night for him to be here. But maybe he'll catch a bot or something. Oh, that's so beautiful. Alright, we're going to sleep... Our way into day 13. Oh yeah, back to Boomer's girlfriend. I don't think they do. I think you're right. But that doesn't mean that you should avoid them. Could be fun, you know? 
I wasn't allowed to date until I was uh, 16. I think that like fucked me up. Yeah, that's true. That's what Boomer's doing for sure. With the rest of the iron, I'll make boots. Yeah, we don't have any boots yet. And then I'm going to use this to make slabs. And we'll make the staircase mostly out of slabs. It's like taking an online relationship seriously. I, I don't know. For some people that works though. What is that? Yeah, I mean, that's a little, a little goofy for sure. But I also think that for some people, online relationships work. Like people who are super timid or scared of uh, inner communication with others. I think for them, like an odd discord uh, relationship makes sense, you know? Jeez Louise, my dog is barking because they want to go outside, but I left the gate open, so I haven't let them outside. Um, I'm probably going to have to go let them outside or he'll keep barking. Uh, we want this to go up. I'm building a staircase all the way to the top around the entire island. So it's just going to do like a big rotation. And it's going to be five wide. Looks like it. They definitely work. It's just like when one of those kids on Discord take it way too far. Yeah, for sure. And I think he tells us a little too much. I don't need to know. But I am not going to be like, yo, I don't, you, you ain't got to share too much because I, I, what I take it as him, like journaling in the discord is, is like, he doesn't have anyone, you know, like there's no one there for him to talk to, to share like his feelings with. So the discord is a place for him to do that. And I don't want to, I don't want to him to feel uncomfortable doing that, you know? I want to I want to be able to provide that safe space for him, which is why there's like an, an entire section just devoted to to it. Just uh, just separate it from the rest of the server. Let him do his thing. Let him feel safe and comfortable because, you know, I don't know if he has that anywhere else, you know. And I mean, also, like we have the option to not read it, you know, we could totally just ignore it because he'll keep talking and regardless so while it's a little weird when he shares like super personal stuff i also feel like uh, he doesn't have anywhere else to go so i'm okay letting it happen but if it gets like way too personal i'll i'll step in i think yeah for sure i that that makes sense it makes me uncomfortable too a little bit We'll figure it out though. Oh, this is gonna be whack. I think instead of continuing to go around, we just flatten out here. Maybe? Three, four, five? Oh, it's like perfect. Okay. That's a staircase. <laughs> if I've ever seen one. Five. Oh shit, my laundry's done too. I need to I need to transition it to the dryer. Ooh. 
Here's another JSAW story time. The one girl I was talking to always wanted to be horny and like sex, but that's not me, you know? So whatever, whenever I didn't want to do that, I just started talking about pizza bagels. Oh, this is Ah, Jesus. Ever, dude? So I feel like you gotta be sometimes. Yeah, so that's what you saved that for. You saved that lady for those times. Pizza bagels all the other times. Or or you just let her do her thing. You don't do the pizza bagels. Because, like, if you're not in the mood, that doesn't mean that you got to stop her from being in the mood. Relationships go both ways, you know? Staircase is kind of weird because I'm making it five, but then the mountain isn't five the whole way around. Or it's not like flat. Alright, and then we'll just have it like shorten when we go around waterfalls. Nah, but like I just get uncomfortable. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. It's kind of weird at first. You're like, why is this person sending me this stuff? But also, it's not like a bad thing. And it's kind of like exposure therapy. Because like at, at some point, you're going to want it. Or want something similar. And you can't just like be scared of it forever, you know? Okay, I'm going to start transitioning this towards the wall. It's like, that's probably the number one way to lose a girl, bro. You could be like, hey, yo, I think you're attractive. I'm into you, but I'm not feeling this right now. Pizza bagels is like, I'm fucking awkward. So I don't know what to do in a social situation when a girl is showing me that she's interested. <laughs> okay. Why are you even talking to her then? <laughs> I can't tell you why you're talking to someone that you're not interested in, bro. The only reason I talk to people that I'm not interested in is because they're going to do that for me. They're going to provide for me in some other way. Oh, shit, too far. The sauce is a complex man. I don't know, dude. I think you're still figuring yourself out. It's okay. You're young, bro. We're all complex. Okay, we're going into day uh, four. <gasps> Fuck! Oh my god. Woo! No, I would say if you, <laughs> if you want to have kids, you got to fucking, yeah, I know, dude. Thank God for water. Amen. Hallelujah. If you ever want to have kids, you got less, less time than 60 years, bro. Uh, I got to figure out this dog thing. I'm going to put myself to sleep. Uh, figure out the dog thing. Unless someone's home.
Oh no, they're home. I don't have to worry about it. I I do have to shift my laundry though. We're gonna head into day 14 sleeping. <laughs> That makes sense. I'll be right back. Day 14! Alright, the laundry swapped. Stairs partially built. Let's get this amethyst out of here. And the calcite and the basalt. Thank you, Mr. Sauce Cheese Man. Dude, at Arby's, we. we Oh my god, dude. The food is so <laughs> gross. As a vegetarian, it feels so weird working there. Um, But they're just like classic beef sandwiches. It's literally just roast beef that was roasted for 24 hours in like this hot oven. And then taken out and sliced. On, on bread. That's like it. That's what people come there for. And then they got like the cheese and, and and meat one, the beef and cheese one. And it's like like the the cheese that you would dip like nachos in from Taco Bell or something or like uh or like you know those little packets of um of like sticks. They're like long and they got like like six sticks of like small little stickies, kind of like bread or something, and you dip them in the cheese and then you eat them, you know? It's like that cheese. And I just put it under there. I press a button and it squirts it on the beef. Dude, it's got to be the grossest thing. It's got to be. So gross, man. 
<laughs> I don't know how people would, like show up to eat that shit. Like who sees that and is like, oh yes, I want this in my mouth. You're on God the cheese man though. It's okay. The girl that I play Bedrock Minecraft with, she does the same thing with you, as you do with the cheese. <laughs> no, you eat a lot of cheese. You ate so much cheese that you were throwing up. That's not a little bit of cheese, man. That's a lot of cheese, man. That's why you're the cheese, man. Okay? Don't try and get it twisted, bro. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> That's too much cheese, bro. Okay, okay. So this is the last one on this side. So we go up one more. Oh. And then we go out five, I think. Shut up, liberal. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop. Two, three, four, five. We had a, guy, a kid walk out today, dude. My manager took him aside and asked him how to make a specific sandwich. And he didn't know how to do it. And then he's like, bro, you're not even listening to me right now. I've been here for like three weeks. How am I supposed to be know how to make this sandwich? And he walked out. He just walked out of the restaurant. You're not, you're not listening to me. I'm done. <laughs> I'm just sitting there watching a training video about fucking bloodborne pathogens, you know? <laughs> he just fucking... This dude walking out, bro. <laughs> it was it was funny. It was so funny too because I worked with him at Jack in the Box, and he walked out in Jack in the Box, and he's like, "Yeah, sorry, I got a call from Chipotle. They said they want to hire me, so I'm just I don't work here anymore." And he just walked out there, dude. <laughs> Shit's hilarious. Okay, we move this to the wall. Higher. Five? It's gonna be more than five, but I think it's better to do it like that. Two, four, five. I'd love to get that kid's autograph. Dude, I bet I can find him. Literally, it just works at every fast food job ever. So if you ever need to get to a staircase, a, por a portion of the staircase, like, really fast, you can just swim up the water. Say, fuck it, we ball. And that's all you gotta do. Since it, like, spirals all the way up, you know. Last time I was complaining about being the cheese man, I was eating cheese. <laughs> that, that deserves the skull emoji on God, dude. What the fuck, bro? The only time I ever have cheese is when I put it in a quesadilla, bro. <laughs> oh, I should have known, bro. I should have known. I should have called you out on that shit. I should have said, Look at you, Mr. J Sauce Man, saying. How am I the cheese man while you're eating cheese? You're probably eating cheese right now, bro. You're probably fucking eating cheese right now. <laughs> of course you did. Siri gives you those Twitch reminders that I'm streaming and you just pull out a block of cheese. Instead of getting popcorn at the movies, you just sneak in a <laughs> half pound cheddar cheese, bro. Christ almighty. Alright, I came back down here because I ran out of stairs. So we're making more. Pew! Actually, just gonna use all of these. I thought initially, the design in my head was wooden planks in between every stone slab. But that's a lot of wood farming. 
And I've had enough wood farming for a lifetime from my other world. So we're not doing that. We have a tunnel through the entire mountain. The sun is setting on day 14. All we've done so far is staircase. But I think we'll finish staircase tomorrow and we'll move on to something else. Wow, it's such a huge island, bro. I hate that I it's like obviously sunset and I can't sleep. Z Z Z Z Z Z Day fifteen. We're like a seventh of the way through the challenge. The hundred day challenge, bro. My first hardcore world. And I'm not sure if we should stop after 100 days or if we should just keep going until we die and then start another 100 day challenge after that. Okay, here's the top. So we want to go up one more. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. That was horrifying. Dude, this staircase is actually dangerous. We need a wall. I need a wall around the whole thing. Maybe we can do that in planks. Give it a little bit more detail. What the hell? That was so scary. This needs to go out five. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, this is out five. Then we can go up here. Yes, sir. I'll just ignore the water. There is a cave towards the top of here. I think it's over there. That is always full of mobs. Um. Well, shit. Actually, we. I think we went up too far. We need to run into this wall. So we can turn again. How far away are we? One, two, three. So, four, five. Okay, we go down one more. I don't know how many stone pickaxes. We're moving iron. Okay, we go down like this. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that that cave is full of mobs. I think we should clear it out and light it up. Or section it off so it's possible to farm it, you know? One, two, three, four, five. Welcome back, bro. Welcome back. We made it to day 15. W on God, dude. On God. Stairs are getting a little wacky, though. <laughs> they're a bit funny on God. They're they're a little they're a little uh, sketch. We actually had a, a run in with a baby zombie that uh, knocked us off. We fell in some water, so we survived barely. But I think it'll be good to have stairs that run all the way down, and then to make them not just be cobblestone. I'm gonna surround the edges since we keep getting close to falling off with uh, wood, wooden planks. 
And heck, we could even like ground it in reality and do like support beams that come off the mountain like diagonally. Like that could be pretty cool. Welcome in, uh, B Dog. Welcome in. J Saw's here. He is, bro. How far did you walk? Four. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna do this. Went to go get my clothes out of the dryer, and on the way back, I stole my Toto eyes. Bro, I <laughs> what? <laughs> Stubs his toe twice and hits his funny bone. What a rough day, bro. What a rough ass day. Two, three, four, five. Pull this out. There you go. And then right here. Oh, you walked far? <laughs> and Felix is like almost always the first one here. It's like he has uh, like a... Wait, he said he has like a transmitter in his brain, bro. That tells him when I'm streaming. <laughs> gaslight him, bro. I'm not gonna gaslight him. I'm not the cute little Discord kitten, bro. We don't gaslight kittens. Four. Five. Five? <laughs> I don't do that to my kitten, bro. He uh, notice on or no life refreshes the stream every two minutes. I think it's uh, I think he gets email notifications, bro. I think that's what it is. We're gonna have to turn two, three, four, five. <laughs> He's on to you, Jay Sauce. Four, four, five, five. We're almost to the top. We're actually almost to the balcony. Uh, it'd be kind of sick if this just went all the way to the balcony. Alright, have fun, B-Dog. Don't slip and fall and die. That would be tragic. <laughs> I own this island. Uh, it's my staircase. Okay, I think we, we just go normal then. From here on out. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god. Maybe not. No! Oh my god, where do they come from? I have a water bucket. I have a water bucket. Oh 
Oh my god. Okay, we remember we have a water bucket. That's the third time we've fallen today. I did not know this was going to be so treacherous. But we get rewarded with the gritty villager. Come here, Mr. Villager. Do the gritty for me. Do the gritty for me, Daddy. Get out of that water and do the gritty for me. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? Asshole, I'm like trying to look at the gritty, man. Show me the gritty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Mr. Villager. Gritty. Woo! Man, that was fucking horrifying. We gotta go to the sleeper town. We gotta go sleepy town. I think we are gonna be just close enough to the balcony to connect the stairs to the balcony or go through them or something. It'll look cool. Z Z Z Z. Also, this staircase has taken like three days so far. We started on the 12th. No, we started on the 13th essentially. I gotta find my way back up. We just need a waterfall, I think. Apparently there's none on this side of the mountain though, and they're only over here. But this should go all the way up. Man, that was scary. It won't happen again. <laughs> no baby villager coming to murk me off my stairs. Not again, dude. Oh, I bet he came from the tunnel, dude. I bet this is the scary tunnel where all the mobs spawn. Look at this. We lighten this bitch up. Okay, so we want to go up there. I'm horrified. I'm actually horrified that a little zombie villager or a little zombie is going to come out here and murder me, dude. Is this? I think we got to do it like this again. We're not going up a whole lot in these situations where it's not like a flat wall. <laughs> I feel you, bro. I don't know how hot it is there, but it's like 90s here. Whew. This five? It's five. Then we do this. And we find our way up into the balcony maybe we don't cut up into it necessarily yeah let's just say we do something like this Nineties perfect time to go walking. Not hot, not too cold. <laughs> All right, Mister from Mexico lives in a fucking desert, dude. No way, man. Ninety is so hot, and you'll never convince me otherwise. 
I want to fill this in. Okay, let's see if we can get pick up any of these again. Ah, oh, it's unfortunate. Where's Sauce Boy? I don't know, dude. He started gaslighting you and then he just disappeared. Oh, what the fuck did I do here? I missed his all up, actually. Hold up. <laughs> you got him all figured out. I'm scared to not shift. Oh, my God. You see the meme he made? Yeah, dude, it's so good. The crime, the culprit. Okay, then actually we stop it here, maybe. Because this is the floor. My romance balcony, bro. Yes. This should be five then. Okay. Then that's the stairs all the way up. Essentially. We could keep it going, I guess. But like we'd have them go off over here and then up there. Or you could just go in this hole and go all the way up. To the top. Wow, what a cloudy day, dude. What the hell? That's crazy. Can't see anything from up here. All right, that's the staircase done then, yeah? We finished it on day 16. Well, finished is a loose term. I think I'm going to go back and put uh, wooden planks around the whole outside edge. Which we'll get in here. It's not a whole lot, but hopefully it's enough. <laughs> oh my god. I can't see shit. He says, Me out to you too, brother. 
All right, this provides a little bit of uh, resistance, yeah? You're not gonna just go walking off of this unless you really want to. It has to be the ugliest thing I've ever built, I think. Felix, what do you think of uh, the name Armando? <laughs> I feel like everybody's built that, Felix. That's the first thing you do in Minecraft. Armando is a nice name. Okay. I think it's a nice name, too. Wow, dude. Day 16 is almost over already. I really feel like the days are just flying by. We're like mad cruising. And the nut was landing on his ass. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bro. All right, we got the about the 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 wall like halfway down. I'm so confused. Like that. Okay. It needs lit too, I think. So you'd be walking up this whole thing and mobs are just going to be spawning on you the whole time. I'm not going to risk it. We're going to go sleep. Such a n oh my god. What are the odds, bro? Little bitch. I think I have a little bit of wood down here too, so might be beneficial for us to come all the way down. Sleeping our way into day seventeen. Ooh, I don't have any wood. Hopefully the 55 blocks that we have uh, will be good enough. Let me make some boots too. So I said I was going to do that earlier. I didn't do it. Oh, I didn't even see this guy. I also didn't put on my boots. Okay. Walk by Mr. Spider here. It was four at the start. It was four wide, and then it ended up being five. Really fast, actually. Oh, dude, dude, doing this going up is weird. Oh, 
Okay, shoddy, we're getting there. I had to find a different rhythm than I had. Also, we should eat some food in case we get <laughs> surprise attacked by any mobs. Bro, hardcore is so much scarier than normal. I feel like I'm gonna die at every turn. Also, I don't have enough wood at all. I'm out, out. Okay, I guess we go to the top and we farm trees. We don't need a whole lot more. We do need some now. A nice little staircase we've made, eh? Mr. Creeper's gone. That's good news for us. No clouds in our cave. Also good news for us. It's really a pretty clear day. I need this. We go cut down these trees. Oh, this is a big one. I'll just cut down this one first. These grow so weird. You grow like two different trunks. Okay. Bingo, bango, bongo. Oh, so far up there. Got it. Okay, I think we got them all. That tree's going down. One more tree, two more trees. And then we'll replant some saplings all over the place. I think we should adjust the wall of the balcony too. So it's not cobblestone, it's uh, planks. That'll fit the vibe a little bit more. Some saplings. We have a ton of saplings in the house. So I'm not too worried about catching the rest of them, but if we grab some, we grab some, you feel? We also have this staircase up here that takes us all the way down to the bottom or over there, not the bottom, bottom, but to this house, which I think is good. So we have stairs to get to like pretty much everything. Nothing is off limits for us anymore. Just throwing saplings everywhere. Hopefully they'll grow. I'll turn the rest of these into planks and we'll go finish the stairs. And I'll, I'll do the balcony real quick too as well. Yeah, you know, look at this, it's kind of weird. If we do it like this, Not that one. Our fun little balcony, dude. I think I want to change the shape of it, too. So I'll run this out to here and then adjust the shape. Something like this. And then decided to just take a full shower and then watch stream. <laughs> okay. Nice. Welcome back then.
We got a upgraded balcony. Stairs that go all the way to the bottom that just need a little bit of love so you don't fall off. I have a question I want y'all to answer honestly. We'll see. Guys, the 100 day survival challenge only lasted 17 days. <laughs> Fucking rip the island. This is all we accomplished in 17 days in the first hardcore survival world. We built a staircase all the way to a cute little balcony. And we almost finished the wall. So we'd never get knocked off by mobs again. And we got sniped by a skeleton that would just despawn. R.I.P. the goods. <laughs> a staircase never to be walked again by mankind. It was gonna look so cool finished though. Going all the way around to the very top with our sexy balcony and our house that got blown up by a creeper and these cool stairs that go all the way down so we could access these houses. Bro, it was gonna be our, our island. R.I.P. the world. Bro, it looks fucking cool, man. So sad. Jesus Christ. Okay. What do we got going on, B-Dog? Molly started working because she wants extra money. And there's this girl who works with her who has, like, the biggest crush on her. It's constantly, like, all over her. Like, she came over one night because we were having people over. And she literally kept trying to be as close. Sometimes even touching Molly. What do I do about it? Trust Molly and stuff. But the girl makes me uncomfortable. Fucking... Tell her that you don't want her hanging out with her. Like, I feel like if you know that someone has a crush on you and you're in a relationship, you don't engage with them. They don't get invites to your house, bro. It's something that you, uh, you definitely need to talk to Molly about. And ask Molly to make distance. Molly should be stating like, hey, I am in a relationship. Yeah, you shouldn't be the one that has to say anything. Molly should be saying something. I mean, they can work together, but Molly should be setting, uh, setting boundaries. It's not on you to control what Molly does. I don't know. I, I don't know. If my significant other was uh, being approached by other people, I would expect them to, to set boundaries. And if those boundaries weren't expected to put themselves in situations where they weren't involved with that person. All right. Did she say anything then?
I still am uncomfortable with all of it because they work like five hours together. If you trust Molly, then there should be no uncomfort. Do you trust Molly to set examples, set to, or to set boundaries? Sorry. Then you shouldn't be worried. She could spend as much time with that that other girl, and it shouldn't be a problem because you trust Molly to set boundaries and not worry about it. I don't think it should have gotten this far. Like, I think Molly should have just stepped in, like, right at the start. She should have recognized the situation. Been like, no, sorry. I'm a taken uh, woman. This girl was trying to grab Molly's hand and shit when we were together and Molly pulled away and shit and got closer to me and told me. Yeah, I don't know. She should have said something. I mean, obviously this girl can't read body language. So Molly's got to be like, yo, that's not cool. That too. And then, then if it, if that was the situation, then I would expect Molly to remove herself, find another job, ask her manager to get a different shift, to not be with this person. Like there, are, there are ways to uh, avoid all of this, and I don't think it's that complicated. Yeah, you know, we can't read meowism, bro, but we appreciate your <laughs> additions to the conversation. I can't. I speak for me alone then. Oh, that's fucked, bro. That's gotta be the worst hardcore world ever. <laughs> we only lasted 17 days. Changed the title to uh, to something more applicable. I feel weird about it because Molly likes the job a lot so far and they're both working like every day. Yeah, well, like I said, I think that there are options that you can take, that Molly can take to not be uh, in a situation where they are around each other. She can set boundaries with the girl and you can tell Molly that you feel uncomfortable. And if those things don't happen or you tell Molly that you're uncomfortable and she doesn't care, then I think that's a red flag. I know you guys are fucking engaged and shit, but you also haven't known each other very long. So this could be one of those things where you're like, oh man, maybe this isn't actually the person for me. We don't need to jump that far. I'm just saying. Your significant other should respect when you feel uncomfortable and do what they can to make you not feel uncomfortable. You're going to an MF Doom concert in November 7th? Isn't that guy dead? Didn't MF Doom die? Rest in peace, the goat? Yeah, bro, dude. Oh, it doesn't work. Fuck. I 
I hate that stream broke for no reason. No way it's still on Minecraft, bro. What? How? How is it this broken? I don't think it'll be fixed this stream. I can't stream anything. I can't stream anything other than Minecraft. <laughs> Dude, I'm hip with it, Felix. Try me. Molly's weird about those things and she will generally get upset. Like she was really upset about the girl because she thought they were just going to be good friends. And then I nearly cussed her out. The girl, not Molly. But I don't understand what she was upset about. She's upset that they were the two, her and the other girl were just friends. And then the other girls came onto her. Like, I don't know. That sounds like a woman thing to be upset about. You're going to a Taylor Swift concert? Dude, have you, are you keeping up with the Taylor Swift drama, bro? She's like dumped her boyfriend of six years for the, the lead singer of the 1975, bro. She's going crazy. Well, I don't know. It's kind of sad that someone is i actually i don't even think so i think it's weird to be sad it's kind of like oh man that's a bummer because we probably can't be friends now because you have a crush on me and i think you're a cool person but it's also like damn i'm hot <laughs> you know i pull all the bitches you should go to a real concert jesus where are you? You're in Maine? Let's look up some cool concerts in Maine. Dude, the Temptations are performing today. Dude, Nickelback's performing August 24th. Go see, go to the Nickelback. Oh, you're in Pennsylvania? Okay, wait, wait, hold on. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Dude, the Philadelphia Orchestra is performing music under the stars tonight. No, tomorrow night. Friday night, bro. Don't go camping. Go to the orchestra. I know Molly is really happy with me and won't do anything. I'm just scared someone's going to make a move on her and she will take it bad. And I'll take it bad, especially if this girl tries to kiss her. I mean, trying to hold her hands in front of me. Bro, they're, she's not going to do that at work. No sane person is going to make a move on someone at work. Right? Also, if you trust Molly, I don't know why you're getting mad at her. I know people who live in Pennsylvania, too. It's the worst state, bro. Chitty Bang is performing on tomorrow as well. Wait, no one's performing in Pennsylvania, bro. If you feel like Molly's not doing enough, you got to let her know. And it, she shouldn't get upset about that. She shouldn't get upset at you for feeling uncomfortable that she's not doing enough. Just make her work different hours. Start there. Tell her to talk to her manager and be like, yo, I'm uncomfortable working with this person. Can I get different hours?
That's a series of unfortunate events, JSOS. Just keep trying, bro. But don't settle for Taylor Swift, my guy. You're gonna have a hell of a time there. All I get to see are small OK bands at my local music show area. It smells like sweaty dudes, McDonald's, and weed. That's what every concert is going to smell like. You could go see Breaking Benjamin tomorrow. <laughs> They're going to be in Wilkes Bear Township. Oh, you're going to Taylor Swift on the 17th, bro? I don't know. I feel like training at a different location is a lot harder than just changing your schedule. Especially if you already like your job, bro. I think open and honest communication about, uh, about the situation with uh, Molly is the best way to go. She doesn't need to talk to you. She's at work, bro. You could go see Noah Khan. On the 6th. On North Shore Drive, dude. Do you have... I bet you couldn't even get tickets to Taylor Swift. They are probably all sold out. You could go see Ed Sheeran on the 2nd. Dude, go see Soldier Boy on Saturday. Soldier Boy is going to be at Nightclub Reverb <laughs> in Reading or Reading. I don't know which one that is. The Wonderworks Music Festival on May 27th. Who's performing here? No, I don't want your cookies, bro. Oh, go to Wonderworks, bro. Go to Wonderworks. Here's the link. Here's the link. Wait, wait. Can I just see the picture? I just want to see the picture. Open image in new tab. Shit. It's so small. You got Hoser. You got the Head and the Heart. Coin. X Ambassadors. Jason Mraz. Mount Joy. The Revivalist. Dude, Mount Joy, dude. Mwah. This is your indie pop, indie folk, indie acoustic festival, bro. There's also the Airborne Toxic event, Small Pools, The Revivalists, Matt Mason, Steven Sanchez, The Aces, Will Dorado. I love Will Dorado. The Blue Stones, Daisy the Great, Michigander, Almost Monday, Ruby Waters, Andy Frasco in the UN, Jess Williamson, Axe and the Hatchman, Heavy Heavy. Abby Holiday and the Vindies, dude. I don't listen to music. I do, I do sometimes. One day, Familiar is going to be on that list. I doubt it, bro. This is like... No, actually it might. 
You guys' band kind of fits this vibe. I can see it. Bro, go to Wonderworks. See Mount Joy, dude. Mount Joy's so good. Here's the link. What else you got going on? Wonderworks is going to be in Allison Park, bro. And it's two days. You could go see Weezer. Who else we got on here? I would show you guys my screen, but it doesn't work. So, I'm just, I, I, you guys gotta live through me. <laughs> you could go see Drake on August 1st, bro. Or Drake and 21 Savage on the 31st of July. You could go see Big Time Rush on June 28th. Mount Joy Gay, dude. Get out of here, bro. Mount Joy's so good. Yeah, go see Big Time Rush, bro. I've tried to fix the overlay. It doesn't work. And I'm not going to restart stream because I'm done streaming in like a half an hour or so. Apparently, dude, Max and Big Time Rush in Burgelstown. Is this really the Bur Burgets? Burgettstown, Pennsylvania. At the pavilion at Star Lake, dude. Wait, uh, this v venue sounds fucking bonkers. Wait, it looks so cool, bro. That would be sick. I'm not really big in the big time rush or anything. But that venue is really cool. Bro, I'm, I'm giving you places in Pennsylvania. Go see big time rush, bro. James Taylor on July 1st? Bruce Springsteen on the August 18th, bro? Lil Baby on September 5th? You go see Lil Baby, bro. Guns N' Roses on August 11th? The Lumineers on August 23rd? KC and the Sunshine Band on June 3rd? The Lumineers, bro. Hell yeah, it is, Felix. I would dox myself for you to just find out shows that are actually near you. You said Pennsylvania. Go see Beyonce, dude, in Pittsburgh. Pennsylvania's a small state. <laughs> Go see Snoop Dogg, Wiz Khalifa, Too Short, and more at the Pavilion of Star Lake, dude. Dude, that place kind of busting. The Da Vinci Spray Tan. Pennsylvania. I have a friend living there. She's hot as fuck. Pixar didn't happen, bro. Pixar didn't happen. Dude, go see Elenium. Elenium's so good. On July 13th. In Pittsburgh. Huh? Huh? The Roots Picnic? You like the Roots, bro? Pierce the Veil, dude. Three doors down. At this point, I'm just naming people that I know. Blink-182, May 19th, bro. That's tomorrow in New York. If you can get to New York, New York at the Madison Square Garden, by tomorrow, you could go see Blink-182. 
No, you're not going to be here. You're going to New York. New York, New York. Come on. You're going to New York. I'm not camping, bro. Boring. Camping's boring. Huh. All right. I think I went through all the cool people, bro. I don't think there's anybody cool left. No, no more curls. No more curls. I'm giving you that shit back. We're not doing any more curls. No more curls. No more curls. Reject. Your points are back. Can I time out Tree Boy for being mean to the mods? He called me L Dog earlier when talking about the word girl situation. Nah, you're still L Dog, regardless of the situation, bro. L Dog for life, just like J Sauce will be Cheese Man for life. And Felix is our Discord, our little Discord kitten, bro. I'm sure you do it all the time, B Dog. Guys, what do you what do you think people do when they're just chatting? Do you think they're scrolling through like social media and stuff? Like if someone's having a just chatting stream with you. Like, what do the big just chatting streamers do? <laughs> Dude, you said he was straight one time. We figured out he's bi, bro. He's really into titties. Bobs are cool, he says. Bob's in Vagana, dude. Men are gross, dude. Men are dogs. <laughs> Everybody's gross, dude. Get them out of here. We don't want any of them. Me too, bro. Me too, bro. We should ban all women and make this a man only stream. That means we gotta ban Felix too, bro. Late, no lady boys. No women, no lady boys. You guys want to do a shoe unboxing? Sounds like a lady boy to me, bro. Let's do a shoe unboxing. All right, then we don't ban all ladies. <laughs> no.
Lyle dog can stick around for a while. She's all right. She's not the best, but uh, we support her. All right, I'm just coloring out my address so you guys can't see it. Guys, you think it's weird that no one, none of those bots come in my stream anymore that are like, want followers, buy them here? Why did they stop coming? <laughs> no, you're not gonna know my address. It's colored. No address. Twitch might be getting rid of them. That's pretty sick. <laughs> Bot repellent. That'd be pretty nice. Alright, I don't think my address is anywhere on this. At least not the outside. So let's hope it's not on the inside either. I had to buy non-slip shoes for work. Right now they just have me wearing tennies and then throwing like these non-slip things over them. You've been banned in two places and they're because people are transphobic. To be honest, that's why we'd ban you here. Because you're transphobic. Literally transphobic, bro. You just said it yourself. All right, all right. Shoes are coming out. Exactly, dude. Guys, I got Skechers. <laughs> They're memory foam. That's like saying I'm not racist, I'm black. <laughs> exactly, bro. You the black <clears throat> Black people get into the KKK. Who says a trans person can't be transphobic? <clears throat> Come on, man. Sheesh. Sketchers. On slip sketchers, yas girl. Slip resistant sketchers with memory foam. You can't even read it. Cringe. Cringe. I'm gonna be the drippiest one at Arby's, bro. Oh, they smell like new shoes. I fucking love that smell, dude. That's gotta be one of the best smells. Rubber and new shoes. Whew. <laughs> what a cool professor you got there, bro. You guys think they fit? We got to throw them on. <clears throat> I got to throw them on. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> dude, that's my pickup line, but for ass, bro. Your ass looks heavy. Can I hold it for you? <clears throat> Not the snack packs. Dude, that's how I take my pills. Sheesh. 
Sheesh, the grippers are out. But now they're not, dude. They're in some non-slip work shoes. Some sketchers, baby. Let's go. Ooh. Foot model, foot model. Ooh. Work it, girl. All right. With these babies, you'll never slip at work. With their all new patent pending grip. Later, B Dog. I can't raw dog my pills. I literally can't swallow them. I like. Try. I've tried so many times. When I got my. Uh. What are they, dude? My wisdom teeth pulled. Like two years ago. Hold on, I'm sorry if this is loud. When I got my wisdom teeth pulled like two years ago, I, every time I had to take pills, I would try and swallow them normal. And I followed so many different guides like online, doing anything I can to to just try and swallow them so I don't have to go through the pain of crushing them up and putting them in applesauce or in uh, in pudding and it just doesn't work and I've tried with smaller things like like mini M&Ms and stuff I can't I, they just when I swallow yeah they, they, they make guides bro there's like a bunch of different w ways that people do it and I just can't do it Also, if YT's still here, this feral goat looks nuts, dude. Those horns are crazy. I totally forgot that you were going to send a picture. <laughs> That's a horny goat on God, dude. Tracked you for 420 yards. That's like four football fields. It's 109 pounds. It weighs almost as much as I do, bro. That's that's actually insane. That's actually insane. YT like the hunteriest huntery of all of us. How much do I weigh? I weigh 120 on a good day. When I work out, I gain weight. So since I've been running, I'm probably like 121 or close to that. Yeah, it's because you got that dumpy, bro. You got that ass that claps, bro. It's from all the cheese. <laughs> for real, bro. For real. Yeah, I've been 120 since like sophomore year of high school. And I don't really gain weight or lose weight. I was 118 when I had strep. Because I wasn't eating. And yeah. I think the most I've ever weighed was like 125, which was about marathon time last year. What's up, Felix? Why are you so sad? Y'all not talk about my dumb feet? Nah, dude, we were talking about each other's. I was only talking about Jason's dumpy. He said he weighs 10 pounds more than me. It's all in his ass. How much do you weigh, Felix? Felix, you weigh less than me. Where's your ass, bro? Your ass is 17 pounds. <laughs> Wait, how hot <clears throat> was the Pennsylvania girl, bro? I heard there was a hot girl in Pennsylvania. But I never got picked, so I don't believe it.
Let's we'll see, girl, you? Yeah, yeah, put it in the Discord, bro. Put in the IRL shit. Well, this is my sister's dog when it was a puppy, dude. Look at how cute it is. That's girl you, bro? You wear Carhartt beanies, dude? This is my friend in Pennsylvania. <laughs> you guys have the weirdest taste, dude. She's seeing stars, bro. <laughs> Not. Not. Molly cussed the fuck out of the girl at work today because she wouldn't get away from her. Oh my god, dude. Obviously. Definitely weird taste, dude. <laughs> no, bro. You don't have to pay any prices. Dude, this girl's hot. <laughs> Sheesh. Hot ish? You think Margot Robbie is hot ish, bro? Oh my God, you have, you have the weirdest taste, dude. You guys aren't allowed to talk about girls with me, bro. <laughs> Dude, I saw, I just saw Felix for like two seconds. Oh, he back now. Yeah, that's a dog, bro. That's my sister's little puppy. It's like sixty percent wolf or some shit. Yeah, I mean, it's good that Molly took action, but I mean, there's probably a more responsible way to do it. Untrue, j -Sauce. Untrue. Alright, well... You guys have the worst taste in women. I think I should go. No, they're not, bro. <laughs> I don't know what you want. You're the clown right now. You said she was hot, Felix. She's... 
not. But we all have our own taste, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to head out too. I'm going to go for a run. You guys need to sit and think about your taste in women. Let that shit marinate, bro. <laughs> if you're new around here, check out the Discord. That's where all this crazy talk is coming from. It's also the best way to be notified of the stream schedule and when I go live. If, in fact, you like the streams but you miss them, check out the YouTube. I upload all the VODs there a week after they occur. Check out the Instagram for Minecraft builds, which we didn't take any this week, but I will take some off stream tomorrow, probably. And last but not least, I make highlights on TikTok, so check that shit out. I appreciate you guys for hanging out. Let your taste in women marinate for a while and come back to me when you are into normal women. Thanks for all the hugs. I'll see you guys Sunday for game night. Some Sunday at 5. 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for game night. We're playing Jackbox. Be there or uh, be square. Or have bad taste in women. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Kisses.